Welcome to our Python lectures for Riga Technical University. And today we will look at the set data structure, uh, which is basically a way of performing set operations on on some data. Usually this means it will work. It's great for working with unique values and also performing some of the set operations from well from set theory. If you're more interested, if you want to refresh your knowledge, of course you can follow the link and learn more about set theory, but we'll see how it works in practice. I'm sure you've seen all seen the Venn diagrams and, uh, and seen how you have two sets of something and you can com you have you can perform certain operations. So, uh, for example, a union here, this would be a union, right? So, um, that's what Python allows you to do these operations. So, uh, notice, let's look, start, let's start, uh, we are conne already connected to a Google uh, Cloud Collab and we'll start working. So, how do we create a set? We use the same bracket, uh, curly braces than that you are used by dictionary, right? So what's the difference? Of course, we don't have key value. We have just the numbers, right? We have entries, so out outcome, just the unique values. So it's amazing, great for, if you have some sort of sequence, some sort of, um, it could be a sequence of characters, could be sequence of uh, strings, could be sequence of uh, numbers, anything, you want some uniques, there you go. Sets provide a way of, again, uh, getting the unique values out. And of course, later on, we might be able to go back to some other structure. Alternative way of creating a set is using the set, right, built in as well, right? And we pass some sort of, some sort of uh, iterable, again, just like here. So we, just like this different syntax, right? We need, a, we need something inside, right? So let's see what happens. And, right, one, three, six, seven, same result. Also, I can give a list, right? This is a list, right? That works, right? That also works, one, two, we don't have a three here, right? So I could uh, give some letters, right? Because what a string, is a sequence of letters. Of course, in uh, Python, we don't have uh, characters, right? Or letters as such, but we have small strings, right? With one letter each, right? We can give it some sentence or some, just some words, right? And we'll have outcome unique, uh, a set of unique uh, letters in this. Uh, an important point is that there's no a guarantee of ordering like here it looks it certainly looks like it's it's alphabetical but in general you do not have a guarantee of some specific ordering in when you're working with sets so sets are for providing quick access for checking membership again an important point is you can quickly quickly do membership testing so and here look at this another example right so here we have a we create a set out of various items. It could be a string, couple strings, right? Some duplicates, right? And some numbers, right? In Python, you can do that because you have a, um, a Python is such a, have these dynamic, dynamic types and sets basically take anything, right? So you have one, well, we'll see if that's the case, but yes, so ABBA, just single instance of ABBA string, right? And also a single instance of a number two, right? And number one as well, right? So again, the order of these, well, it certainly looks like alphabetical, right, to some extent, but notice numbers here are not alphabetical, right? So the structure underneath, there is no uh, guarantee of certain order here, right? There is order set as well, but again, that comes with its own set of trade-offs. So notice difference. So the, what I was doing here, right, I was giving curly braces and just comma separate values of whatever I want to create a set of. I could be more explicit and give a list of items, right? And then it will come right like this. So again, notice again the difference. I give a list of items of individual strings, right? And it will get the you the unique unique strings. However, however, if I give a uh, just a single string without giving it inside a list or some other iterator, well, then I will have then the set. Well, it thinks okay, you gave me a, something I can iterate over, right? Which is a sequence of uh, it's a string you can go through you can iterate it so well okay i'll okay you i'll, I'll give you the unique uh, letters instead of a unique strings right so difference here and here right if i do maybe i'll show it to you one more i'll give you one more example right so if i do uh, set 
right here, right abracadabra, right? Then of course it will be a single entry. You see the difference, right? Because I gave it, I gave a list, I gave a, I gave a list of one string, right? So which is in fact unique, right? So I get a outcomes a set of one element, right? So nothing, you know, nothing much gained, right? So uh, how do I loop through? Yes, I can go through using standard uh, Pythonic way of uh, looping, right? I can go through my, for example, these letters, right? I'll go through, but it's not guaranteed the order, right? Oh, in fact, I don't have a, a set, right? Now I can go through. Yes, BCD, notice, right? Uh, the way it's here and here, right? There's no guarantee, right? So, okay, you might be asking, so what do I do? Uh, well, then you have to go through, have a list, of course. But for first, right, the, one of the key parts of why we're using sets is that this set lookup, set lookup, this is in a computer science term, in computer science terms, this is all one lookup, meaning, meaning, one lookup, right? even even with billion elements right billion elements right so uh, constant time look up so constant time even with millions of elements right again maybe even billions as well right again as long as you have memory right so this is much faster it's much faster much faster much faster than in a list right so that's one of the that would be one reason you have to have some sort of you have a large collection of some sort of items and you need this quick lookup this is what you could use so in fact you can think of basically uh, dictionary keys right it, you can think of sets as a very limited dictionary which only has keys no values just keys right again this lookup is extremely fast right so again we can check the membership right this membership testing is very fast this lookup it's called also membership testing. Membership testing is very quick, even for large sets. Okay, so, well, if you want, if you want something in a given order, well, okay, we can pass your set, since set is iterable, sort of will take any type of iterable, right? From the iterable, and I can get a list and I can have my values in sorted order. So again, so the, mo the difference is that this in my list it's going to be much slower once you go over, you have a large collection of items, right? So if you have to do uh, frequent lookups or some sort of membership testing, then set will be faster. Why? Because in a list, you have to start at the beginning and go through each item. See, is this it? Is this it? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Right? In a set, we basically calculate the hash value. And we go instantly to the right place and check, oh, is there such a thing or no? Is there is this location taken? Well, if it's not taken, okay, then it's not in a, in a, in a set. If it's taken, oh, there is an item in a set, okay, we are good. So, uh, so again, type of S, again, we can use type of S is a set, right? Where is it? So, or S set, right? Type of asset, again, of course, is going to be set, right? So, uh, Again, we can go back to a letters, right, uh, using a list. And again, if I want to join, uh, right, uh, letters back, right, I use the join structure. Again, I can sort them. If I want this, if I have a set of characters and I want to go back to a sorted list, right, well, I can use sorted and I can then use this is standard operation of basically uh, just a, uh, uh, getting the letters back in a single string. If I, of course, if I put something like a space here, it will be space separated, right? If I put something just nothing, it will be a single big string, right? Just join operation, right? So again, that's up to you what you want, what you need here, and you can get the letters out, right? So this is mostly list of, then you go back to the list operations. So uh, again, you can use sorted for any type of these sets. But let's go now, now that we see that sets are great for checking whether something is in set and you can get unique values, let's have a num number set and let's look at some operations, right? Uh, I'll create a set of numbers, zero to nine. Well, again, remember, uh, this is, uh, I'll, I'll get rid of this one. Uh, this is basically, uh, oh, here's my set, right? Some numbers here, right? I have some numbers and 
and I have a set of numbers from 0 to 9. So question is, is this S, right, is this a subset of a N set? What do you think? Well, we have a 65 here, so it's probably going to be false, right? Because false, false, because uh, uh, S has 65, which is outside of N set values, right? Okay. So we can use range to create a set as well. Again, any iterable, anything you can iterate over, you can create a set out of these values. So now I can we get to these set operations as I was showing somewhere in a nice little picture, maybe somewhere, maybe here. Yes, we can get, we'll get these operations. And again, it's nothing fancy. Maybe some of you have learned this in school or maybe even a university, right? But uh, Python has built-in operations for this. So I'll make a new set of three, seven. So is 3 to 7 a subset of n set? Well, it's true, right? Because it falls inside, right? Strictly, right? We have an alternative in syntax, right? Uh, this is a good syntax is a, a strong subset, meaning you can be equal, right? That's fine. So also we can use this is exactly, this is just like his subset, right? So this is just like his subset. And you have the it's inside right so right also we can do of course right so this is false right because but this will be true right uh, because uh, is the set inside itself well if you want to have strong it will be false a strong comparison if you have a strong checking if you're checking well more loose like equal or lesser right this will work makes sense right again so uh, is an is superset of s we can go the other way using is superset meaning is basically check from the other end is this big set uh, uh, lording over the s right because remember s was uh, 65 right and that's messing up however right uh, is if i remove s 65 using remove right i can remove elements from s then of course i can check my sets and now my number set will be a superset of one, two, three, six. And let's check if that's the case. Yes, it is indeed true. All right. So, so this means we can go the other way. Of course, if you have this operation is superset in Python, we have these shortcuts, right? So, a number set is it over s? Yes. Number set over larger or equal than set? Yes. Is n set less than set? Well, no, because well, it's it's bigger, right? It, I mean, it doesn't true, true, false. Okay, we also we can choose, of course, is S superset of uh, six, right? No, it won't work, right? And we can even give range, but is superset uh, N set, right? Yes, it is. So why? Because S does not have all the numbers one through six, however, well, zero to six also, right? Uh, zero to zero to five, right? So N set has all the numbers. All right. So let's make another number set we, ha we have 5 to 9, right? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, right? So then we can create a union, right? So, which is this operation in mathematical terms, right? Union operator, basically. So this means we take both sets and take all elements that are at least in one of those sets, right? So, well, not surprisingly, a union of 3 to 7 and 5 to 9 will be 3 to 9. Again, the order is not guaranteed here, right? But for the small numbers, it, it seems to, well, it will be in for us normal order. But again, that's that's not the point of the set to have some sort of order of a regular set. So this union syntax, there's a short, shorter way of writing. You can use a single pipe operator again. So it will only work, this pipe operator will work for sets, right? There's other use of pipe operator, for example, for, for numbers, right? You have bit operators, right? Bit you have a bit union basically, right? A bit, uh, bit or. So again, it logically, it goes together with the or operator, right? You have or either from this side or this side or both. Doesn't matter, right? It's it kind of logically follows from that uh, that syntax. So uh, this is a so that's why it's, they use the pipe operator, right? Overloaded the pipe operate operator, yeah, and you can use this syntax. I think quite nice. So quite quite nice and. Uh, we can also, so if you can do union using this syntax or this syntax, we can also do an intersection. So what's an intersection? Intersection will be this part here, right? 
we only take those values that are uh, in both sets, right? In this case, it should be uh, five, six, seven, I would imagine, right? Uh, this was the union, right? And let's say intersection, right? Right, intersection. So if we use a single pipe for union, we also have a shortcut, same writing, way is quicker way of writing using and operator, right? Again, this is, we, remember we use it for bit, we can use bit, operat bit operations on numbers using and, right? This, in many languages, you use double and symbols, right? For, well, for using it and, in Python we use, for logical operations, we use actual English and, right? But for sets, we can use this syntax. Again, it's up to you how to use. There is a slight, um, this actually lets you do, you can have multiple sets, I, I believe. Yes, you can add multiple sets. So there's a slight advantage to this, this full syntax. But the short syntax, I think, is good enough, usually, right? And of course, we can store these values, right? We can store the values. We can store the values, right? On, basically, right? And so this is a set, right? Of course, I can add another set, right? I can, I can chain, right? This is then zero to nine. So what will happen? Well, nothing, right? Uh, five, six, seven, right? Okay. So how about uh, uh, this part here, right? Set zero to six, right? Well, this only gets us five to six. Why? Because this range, right? I'm sure you can see this. I'll show you. I'll prove you. I'll prove it to you. That this goes to zero to six, right? On one more parenthesis, sorry, right, 0 to 6. So now, well, the 7 is not going to be present. We have 3 to 7 uh, included, right, 5 to 9 included, but this is 0 to 6 included, but 7 is not included. So obviously only you have a three-way, three-set combination, or well, I say inter intersection, three-set intersection, right? You can see maybe some pictures in, in a group, three-set intersection, well, again, and that's what we're doing. If you want to see some pictures in or Google image search, I'm sure you will find some. Yes, yeah, so that's what we're doing here, right? Okay, so let's go back. And, uh, so we get five to six, right? It's in all three sets. And then we come to a difference. So this means we check whether these values are in this set, in a left side set, but are not in the right side set. And of course, when you have three to seven and five to nine, three and four are only present in three to seven, right? But it's not present in five to nine, right? So it looks like, which operation is it? It's this, this one here, right? So as you, if you think about it, it is not symmetric, right? It's not a symmetric difference. It's just a regular difference. In a set of, we call this difference operator, right? Difference. So what do you think? Is there going to be a new symbol, a shortcut? Yes, there is. <laughs> and it's actually an extremely, extremely easy one, right? It is basically what we use for subtraction, right? Just regular. So it is uh, meant to also work on these sets, right? So we can use minus again, but this is not uh, symmetric, right? So synthetic sugar, if you want to take difference of sets, so left side will be three to four and right side, right? Eight to nine right you can use also there is also a symmetric difference meaning we take whichever items are in one of the sets but not in both so this is analogy to analogy analogy to or in logic right so uh, which one it will be it will be this one here this operation right symmetric difference so we take all the values from the left side all the values on the right side but nothing that is in common Okay, so we can use that. And there we go. We can use shorter syntax again. We have the caret symbol, right? We can use that as well if you want, right? And again, at each point if you want to save, you just basically have it, make a variable and save it if you want the results. Right, what else can we do? Well, again, if you if you ever, ever get stuck, well, you can do dot, right? And it should show you. Add clear, copy, of course, clear will, co clear will basically delete all the items in a set. Copy will create a copy and you need to save it, right? Different, discard, we did most of these, right? So update, we can add multiple data times. Uh, so we update the set, a single set, update. And I give it a, uh, so the only requirement, these have to be, uh, these have to be iterable. 
as long as long as they are in iterable format right so sets can iterate yes no problem range can iterate yes 367 values but that's right also we can iterate over these values and again i'll give another value so you can see that we don't add two values right so in fact i could do also again i can do maybe abba right so i'll do it with capital v so you can see the difference right so yes so look at all my well it's a set of everything i have a capital a a small a right just a single b because only one b comes and then i have these actual bigger strings and some numbers one two well up to 14 right up to 14 because well we started with well two three where did two three come from well because we only had them initially so we updated this right again always you can use directory to see what's available right but i usually use s dot right s dot will give you in a is there a google collab or anaconda right you will see the results or a good id will tell you what you can do with it right you press s dot and then you get all these union all these operations so yes so then you can do this uh, is three to seven disjoint from five to seven meaning do they have intersection anywhere right uh, we don't have the operation here but basically are they completely independent sets no no common members well three to seven five to nine is false but uh then we can do it maybe what else do we have and we have any more we have three to seven on mm, let's see five to nine let's create one maybe mm, n eight to nine right equals what a set right eight nine right I'm, I'm just lazy today right so to nine right uh, and uh, of course this needs to be of course needs to be uh, given as an iterable right because I, ca I can't just give single values right so i need to have another set of uh, parentheses right so here i could have given a range of course right right and now right i can do is n through seven is this joint joint of n eight to nine right come on eight to nine and this should give us true right because they are completely separate right true right okay so that's one more operation right so again the main idea is to use it for example you have a list of words you give it to you feed it to the set and then go back to list right so uh one more formula right i could do maybe something like this uh, uh let's say sentence right mm, sentence will be quick brown fox jumped over a sleeping dog right mm. who uh, who which which is not a normal dog right so uh, okay uh, not a great sentence but okay so words will be of course we already know this sentence split right this will be an, you'll get an iterable right so we'll do words right right and we can do this to unique words will be simple view form of unique words will be uh, set uh, uh, words right but this will give us a set so what we can do probably right if you want to go back to working with it list right so we can do this right unique words list right a set right so as you can see words set right so a right article a and of course dog which i added basically right basically those only you know unique words right so quite quite easy to do this right and we could of course compare two different sentences right and see what's in common them right quite quite useful in this regard so of course i can go back and i can go back to unique again unique words list right with using list to unique word set right of course and i have basically and then i can you know do whatever i want sort it uh, count it and so on and so on right so and then i have a list okay so unique elements we can do this set operations and can go back to other data structures thank you for this part and we will continue looking at some other uh, pythonic uh, data structures